epidemiologists with the Oklahoma City County Health Department say seeing more cases during our state's reopening is not surprising. It's just interesting that we're starting to see more younger individuals rather than um, 65 plus. Hermela Haile, emergency preparedness epidemiologist with OCCHD, says they are able to diagnose cases more because testing is becoming more accessible. Additionally, these cases appear to be more mild or asymptomatic. We're starting to see how the rise in younger individuals are kind of coinciding with the decline in hospitalizations and uh, corp uh, complications with COVID. At OU, Dr. Dale Bratzler is now chief COVID officer, leading discussions on how to keep the some 30,000 students on the university's three campuses safe. It's a bit of a daunting task, you know. He says the university wants to have a consistent approach to every situation, including having classes with 40 or more students move online, also practicing social distancing in in-person classes, and encouraging everyone to wear masks. Bratzler and his team are working to promote safe practices and using other valuable resources on their campus. We have virologists, immunologists, basic scientists, vaccine investigators. We have clinicians, infectious disease. He says it's inevitable that cases will likely occur, and when they do, contact tracing and testing will be key. There is no perfect screening that can keep that out. We can't control what faculty, staff, students do beyond the hours that they're on our campuses. So we have to be prepared for that. Lauren Daniels, Oklahoma's News 4. Officials are still urging social distancing practices when possible and the use of a mask when it is possible.